Uh, my name is Christopher McGinnis, and I'm here to surprise my brother, Willie McGinnis, during the game today. Uh, the plan is to have the, uh, the rest of the team run out there, and then um, after they do the interviews, or introductions, excuse me, for the team, I'm going to run out afterwards and surprise them. Sure. <laughs> can't wait, can't wait. Start to get part of the jitter. <laughs> Uh, he actually told me he wasn't going to be there, so I was, I was kind of surprised. They pulled me over to the side and I th put a camera in my face. I thought I was just talking to the camera, going like this, and he grabbed my arm and my brother showed up, so it was a great thing to happen. That was great. He was a big supporter of me last year, my first year. He was out there almost at every game last year, and this is his first game this year, and hopefully he comes out the last two. So it means a lot being there. He's been there my whole career, high school, through college, everything, so it's really great. And new at 10, a big surprise for a family attending tonight's Admirals game. Yona Govino joins us now with the unexpected outcome. Shannon, his two teenage sons thought they were being honored as hometown heroes. They've made plenty of sacrifices and moved nine different times wherever their dad was stationed. Little did they know their own hero was waiting backstage to surprise them. Andros and John Gabriziak have grown up a lot in the year their dad John has been deployed. He's in the Army and serves in the South Pacific. But all of a sudden, he was right behind them. A big hug from his mom, and then his wife of 22 years, Valerie. It was just so amazing to finally see him in person. You know, we see him on Skype, we see him, you know, in pictures, and it's just like, oh, he's here, I can touch, I can actually hug him again, and that's wonderful. It's a homecoming surprise about a month in the making. John only told Valerie about it two days ago. She's like, what do you mean you're coming home? Aren't you still in Guam? And I was like, um, no. <laughs> It was a nerve-wracking day that started at 6 a.m. Flew to Dallas, plane was delayed there for about an hour, flew to Kansas City, and then I finally made it here about 4 o'clock this afternoon. His wife says she's just as proud of her boys as she is of John. During this deployment, it was really hard. I had medical issues and whatnot, and they had to just, you know, step in there and help. And for now, the family is looking forward to getting away, maybe a trip to the Mall of America. And the boys say they also want to show off their dad to their classmates at school. Shannon. Oh, it gives you chills. I'm glad they're reunited. Thank you, Yona. We're all in a special family. And I'd like to, I'd like to invite Ashley to the Ashley, can you tell who we uh, who are we honoring today for you? Who, who is serving? And Ashley, where is he? Uh, Afghanistan. Well, let me tell you something. This is uh, quite, uh, we, we owe you so much the sacrifices you and your family have gone through. I think he left in January of 13. That's a long time for you and your husband. And they were married one year. And, and Greg went overseas. So we can't thank you enough for all you've done. I tried, you tried. So we'd like to honor you with a, thank you. a little gift. This is a banner that says... Yeah! So 
we'll give that to you, Ashley. We also got another little surprise. Again, thanks to Jack Cassidy. We put together a small video, and uh, we want you to show, uh, show it to you. It's also, it's, it's just dedication to you, your family, to Greg, and to all the people that are servicing overseas. So with that, I'd like to to this video. Go ahead and say whatever you want to say. Um, I thank you. <laughs> uh, I've never been so nervous in my life. Um, through everything I've had to do, this is this is crazy, and it, it feels like a dream. And uh, even if, if it was a dream, I, I don't think I could have imagined something as spectacular as this. So, so thank you, everyone, uh, WBN, uh, Cincinnati Bell, everyone involved. And this is incredible, and, and I can't be more excited. And I can't wait to see the look on my wife's face. Thank you for coming, and uh, thank you for your support. Uh, I'm absolutely thrilled that uh, my family brought here to the fire tonight. to take on both roles, but they're so close. Nobody can ever replace Daddy, you know? So, um, Andy's such an amazing dad, so. It's just wonderful to have him back and be a family together. So, it's good. I'm about to surprise B. She didn't even know I'm here. She don't know I'm here.
Ladies and gentlemen, tonight with the support of the Dayton Development Coalition and supporting partners, we would like to welcome some very special guests who have joined us for this evening's game. Captain Jim Thigpen's family has been selected by the Dayton Development Coalition and Wright-Patterson Air Force Base as tonight's hometown heroes guests. Our hometown heroes guests are families who have loved ones who are currently deployed on assignment from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Captain Thigpen is currently overseas in the Middle East and has not seen his family since he was deployed four months ago. Tonight, we have arranged a special satellite feed to allow Captain Thigpen's wife, Kim, and children, Jacob and Caleb, to talk to their dad in the Middle East. Hey guys, how you doing? I love you to miss you. Hi honey, how are you? Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize. It seems we are experiencing some technical difficulties. Please wait just a moment to allow our satellite to reconnect. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, direct from his deployment in Iraq, Captain Jim Thigpen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Thigpen family. I'd like to extend a special thank you to the Dayton Development Coalition and its partners for giving us the opportunity to welcome Captain Thigpen Hall. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. Yeah, hold some tight. That's good. Okay. Okay. Okay, open your eyes. <laughs>
I don't have to go back. Oh, really? I don't have to go back. Oh, how did it. you get home early? <laughs> 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 boyfriend Judd, 11 months of deployment. Carlo's here, she's very excited to see him. Just kidding, she has no idea what's going on. But we're at the hangar just waiting for them to come and I'm so excited. So I have the walker because of cataplexy, which is a symptom of narcolepsy, where when my emotions get heightened, like excitement, my muscles give out and get weak and I get paralyzed. So this is helping me out because my legs are like jello right now, just so you know. 